Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo has flagged off polio outbreak response round two at Umweza Nam Primary Health Care Center in Anambra West local government area. The event organized by the Anambra State Primary Health Care Development Agency in collaboration with the State Minister of Health and Partners targets children aged 0 to 59 months. Emmanuel Chimata has the details. Represented by Deputy Governor Dr. Onye Kachukui Beizim, Governor Soludo highlighted the state's health care advancement in infrastructure, equipment, and staff, emphasizing his commitment to the health needs of Ndianambra. Governor Soludo underscored the importance of statewide presence of robust health care facilities, equipped wards, and the adoption of telemedicine. He acknowledged the support of partners like the World Health Organization, who and urged communities to raise awareness for widespread vaccination. Governor, <laughs> On what side effects? In Kenya, I have seen a messia. Hey, onye na moto belo. Oku ya me ifa anuma. Oku mbochia ya. Kopo maka. Kali logo ziya logo. Nife nine. Anambra State. Na boka first nife. Una nife nine ku. On his part, the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afamo Bidike, re-echoed the administration's focus on revamping the healthcare system, calling for community sensitization to maximize the benefits of immunization. He expressed concern about low birth registration in Anambra West and reviewed the state government's goal of reaching 2.3 million individuals in this second round of the outbreak response. Work well, for immunization of our children mm -hmm. on polio. And also, I know that you use this opportunity to immunize every other children in every other routine immunization. And also, our birth registration, even in Nepal, most of them have birth registration. And the governor is insisting we must know if you cannot measure it, we cannot change it. The executive secretary of Anambra State Primary Health Care Development Agency, pharmacist Shisum Ushem, was present at the ceremony. From Anam, Imani Shibata for ABS News.